I'm Samantha of Lemon in the Sea. I know that you are really wondering about copy and SEO. So I'm going to focus on that as I go through your site, but I'm going to make a couple other suggestions as well. The first thing I want to say is I like this sans serif font that you're using and the sizes that makes it really easy to read. I think throughout the site you've used this script font and in some places that works but in other places I think it makes it hard to read so I usually only use script fonts as an accent and not as a header text because it's not as legible for some people so on this page there's a place where you have some Italian I think it's perfect in there because you have the English in a different font but for your headline here as the first thing on the page I think you would be better to use the same font that you have for your general text or add a serif font depending on kind of what message you want to communicate with your brand the other thing I would say is I think you can tighten up the space around your menu a little bit so that you can get to your headline before um, people might lose interest. So you really want to make sure as soon as somebody lands on their site, they are seeing your headline and they are being drawn in by it so they know, yes, this is something that I'm interested in. I'm going to keep reading. All right, this goes to the copy. So your best bet for copy here is to have a headline, not introducing you, but talking about what you do and who you do it for. So something like this, helping women bring fun back to the kitchen is going to convert better in this headline spot. And then you can talk about who you are further down. The other thing I wanted to note is that for SEO purposes, the more text you have as text, the better. So in this case, this is all one image with your headline, with your button, instead of being a background image like the kitchen and you with text over top that has the headline and then a button that looks clickable. So what I would recommend is to have a text block where I would have your headline something like bringing fun back to the kitchen in a different font and then I would have a button that when you hover over it it would change color so people know that it's clickable. That's going to help with SEO. It's also going to help with conversions. I really like that you have this here. Um, I think it kind of encompasses your brand. So I, I like having that right there. I might make it a little bit smaller just so that it doesn't take up as much space and then they're getting into what you really offer. The next question that I have, and I ask this to all of my clients is, what is the number one thing you want people to do on your website? So. Do you find that most people convert by downloading this meal plan first and then they are interested in working with you or do they sign up directly? So if the meal plan is the thing that you really want to highlight, I think it's fine here. I would make your buttons consistent throughout. So this one has um, square corners and these are rounded. Just make those consistent. And then you go into your signature method instead of this i would talk you can still use this paragraph i've combined my training with my experience in the food industry to teach you how to bring fun back to the kitchen and then let people learn more let them go to the next step for your work with me page so that they are getting some buy-in they are moving through your site to reduce your bounce rate. I like that you've got testimonials here. I think those are really helpful. And then in your footer, what I would do is 
make these smaller. I like to have the Instagram footer either go all the way across the page or you can just make it smaller so it doesn't take up as much space and then have links to the important pages on your site. So link people back to the home about work with me pages. You can link them to the sign up for that freebie. And that way, if they get to the bottom of the page, they have everything that they need in order to make a decision right there. All right, so this is your about page. I like that you've got a headshot of you. I would start with a similar design on the home page. You've got the background image and maybe use this a culinary strategist helping female professionals fuel their body on a busy schedule. That's a really great headline because it tells people what you do and why it benefits them. So on an about page, you want to include your journey, which you do here, but you also want to give people some next steps. So maybe include places you've been featured, include that freebie again, so that they don't get to this page and then have nowhere else to go. You really want to talk about how your journey and what you have done benefits them in their decision to work with you. All right, so this page, you've got your actual text here. I think you might need to change the color of this. I'm not sure the contrast is going to be high enough. And what I would do is talk about the benefit here. So yes, you're bringing fun back into the kitchen. We've talked about that on the homepage. What is it that they're actually getting when they work with you? Are they getting the ability to prepare a meal in 15 minutes a day? Are they going to have their meals prepped for the entire month ahead of time? What is that thing that people are looking for? And that's what you want the copy to be. You've got your button. This here is where I think the script font is not as legible so it would be helpful if you had a another font for a sub headline here so that it was easier for people to read and then what i would do so i like this combining nutrition strategy weekly support intentional eating habits add a little bit more space um, here and you can even put this on two lines so introducing the for the love of food club if that's the name and that way people get an idea and then just add space to this page. The next thing I would say is you've got, um, it looks like these are three different options. So my question here would be, is there a call to action for each of these? Do they sign up for a call or does all of that go back to the same call to action? Either way, I'd put a button right there add some testimonials. You've got this video that is a, uh, an example. I think that can be helpful, but you could, before you get there, add some FAQs, add some more information so that when someone comes to this page, they have all of the information they need to work with you. That's going to help with your SEO because it's going to give you more keywords on this page. It's also going to help with conversions. So when I look at this page, I'm thinking, okay, so there's a do it yourself. If I get an assessment, 20 recipes, I understand that. But like, how much does that cost? How much time is that going to be? Which one is the right option for me? You want to outline a little bit of that here and then either give people the next step with a more detailed sales page or give them the ability to sign up for the call to learn more with you. Depending on which way you want to go with this, you want to give people enough information so that they can make a choice about which one is right for you. All right, your blog. This looks good. I like that you've got your blog posts. And you have some fun images here. That's really helpful. And then you've got your images. I think this 
text needs to be darker so that it stands out more. It's easier to read. And here as well, make either this, I would make this bar, maybe this um, pinky orange color so it stands out for people to join. And then contact me. I always like to have on a contact page information about, so you've got the next 24 to 48 hours, but give people your email address. Um, let them kind of choose what they want to talk about. And that way you have more information before a call and they understand kind of what you are looking for. Okay, so I see this opens up your Shopify site with all of this information. What I would say then is on your work with me page where you have these listed, include a button directly to that product so that they can learn more. What I would say here is you need to include a location. I'm assuming you do not mail food anywhere. So just give people an idea of where that location might be. Um, and then just a little bit more about what's included. So you've got the meal planning assessment, but I think this is where we need more details about like, what does that actually mean? What kind of meals am I getting? How many meals a week am I getting? I know you would go over that on a sales call, but give people that information before they get on that sales call so they're prepared and all they're kind of doing is making sure that this is a good fit, that they're ready to go. Um, because what you're doing, it looks like, is you're allowing people to buy directly from here and I'm not sure that they're ready to purchase with the information you've given. Overall, I like the size of the fonts that you have. The site is nice and clean. I think there's just some clarification you can do in the copy. There are some text font things you can do. And then the more copy that you have, the more your SEO is going to be boosted because you've got more of those keywords because people are going to be staying on your site longer. They're going to find it useful.